Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4 and welcome to my channel. Okay, today I have another huge, exciting Dollar Tree haul full of so many brand new items that I am, of course, so excited to share with you. So, um, once again, I've got so many favorite things, but I am going to start with uh, these shelves. I found the wall shelves. <laughs> these are so great. Okay, so they are 15.7 inches long. So, I mean, it's over 15 inches long. Look how big this is. And I already opened one. I bought two of them. And they're both gonna, they're both for Presley, of course, for her, like, boho theme in her bedroom. But I opened it up, and this is what it looks like. Look how nice that is. And... And then my last Dollar Tree video, you saw that like she got all the little, um, all the cute little planners from Dollar Tree and fill it with succulents. Those would be cute on this little shelf. That you could do some little greenery. You could do some like some picture frames on here. Um, any little knickknacks that you collect. <laughs> but this is so great. And this is what it looks like. And at my store, it was on the bottom shelf. Like I almost didn't even see it. <laughs> But, you know, I knew that the, these were out, so it's like I was kind of on the hunt for them, so I was looking everywhere, and that's where I found them. They were in a, like a light blue box that said wall shelves, or said wall shelf, but yeah. So, that's what it looks like, and this is what it's like open, and like I said, this is over 15 inches long, and it has this little loop right here. Um, it's a little cockeyed, but all you have to do is just kind of adjust the little rope up here, and then you can just kind of adjust and fix it. But so great, and it's amazing that this was only a dollar. Okay, so like I said, I got two of these. I also found this new little sign that's out. This is so cute for your laundry room. Now, I do not have a big, nice laundry room. Mine is <laughs> it's very narrow. But, you know, someday I would like to maybe do a little something in there, but I do like getting cute little signs. You know, at least I can make it look halfway decent while I'm doing laundry. But look how cute this is. I mean, it's like in the shape of an ironing board. This is laundry room, wash, dry, and fold. And it's got little clothespins. You know, so cute. I love this one too. They also had... Oh, I didn't take a picture, but they also had another one. It was kind of like more of like a wood kind of look to it, but I just, just needed one. So I grabbed this, but I love it. That. Um, I found this. Wash your hands, please. <laughs> and I just thought, I love this. Now this right here is like an extra piece. I'm going to open it up so you can really see and tell. And I'm curious what this looks like. It's like an extra little piece that's kind of like glued on there. But look how cute that is. That's going to look perfect in one of the bathrooms. Um, it's a tad bit cockeyed, but I don't think I could get this off and redo it. But <laughs> yeah, hopefully my OCD won't go too crazy. But I love this sign. And this is very, very modern farmhouse to me, which I still love. I know a lot of people are kind of getting tired of farmhouse, but... I love it. So, got that right there. Ooh, I was able to find the little, like, gold welcome wreath. I mean, it's just this little sign. Um, now, it says welcome in cursive, but the lettering, you know, I mean, obviously it's a W, you know, you can tell the W, the E, the L, but when you kind of get this way, it's like, what does that say? <laughs> It almost looks like another E, but it's supposed to be the C. But I think it's really cute. I love it. You could add you some greenery to this or some flowers to this. Um, and just kind of make it your own little wreath. You could add this onto something or just kind of put you like a pretty ribbon and just kind of hang it. But I mean, for a dollar, this is great. And it has the little teeth to where you could just hang this on the wall if you wanted to. But yeah, but I mean, for a dollar, you can't go wrong. So cute. And this is, this is eight inches round. So it's eight inch by eight inch. So it's like an eight inch circle, circle. <laughs> it's an eight inch circle. Got that one. Ooh, 
I did find, and now this, I'm gonna tell you what, I found this at the checkout lane. Like, I didn't see this in the store, but as I was checking out, you know, you was always kind of glance around while I'm in line, and it was hanging at the register. It is the big, huge magnet that says clean on one side and dirty on the other side. And look, I love how the clean is like so neat and precise. And then the dirty, <laughs> do you see how it's like, see how it's kind of like rugged and like crooked looking for the dirty. Love that, so clever. Um, it's five inches by five inches. Ah, it says great for the dishwasher and that's what I want it for. Hopefully I did not think about it. I don't know if our dishwasher, cause it's stainless steel, I don't know if magnets will stick to it. So I'm gonna have to try that out. But the kids, their job is to unload the dishwasher. I load the dirty stuff, they unload the clean stuff. So I thought this was kind of perfect, you know, that way they can be like, okay, clean, I need to unload. So, <laughs> and we'll see how long this lasts. I'm actually like flipping side to side. But I just thought it was so cute and just very, just that. I just thought that was so clever. All right, I am still on the hunt for the farm trucks that have like the fruit and like the flowers in the back. But I did find two new spring signs. I found this one that says, hello spring. That's got the little banner. You could easily, if you wanted, take this off and put something else on here or put this onto something else that you're using. But very pretty colors, so I thought that was really nice. Or if you don't want this sign, because I do buy a lot of signs, and a lot of them, them I say for future projects. Like I don't always like keep every sign the way it is. Like later on, this may become something else that we do. But for now, look how pretty. So I got this one, and then I found this one with the truck, and it has flowers in the background that says welcome. Very pretty, look at the, the blue, like check in the background. It's like got butterflies. Yeah, I like the pretty little butterflies on it. Look how cute this truck is. Oh look, is that a little bird? It's got a little bird on the hood. <laughs> but I mean, just once again, just pretty little signs, you know, from the Dollar Tree. All right. I grabbed just a couple Easter things, just a couple. Um, I was able to finally find the little bunny bottom, <laughs> like ice cube tray. This is so funny and cute because look, it's the little bottom with the tail and its little feet. Now I don't know if we're gonna make ice cubes out of this, but I just thought this was so cute. The little bunny bottom. So I got that one, finally, finally I found this. I grabbed the towel. Just look how bright and vibrant those colors are. So fun and springy. Um, I almost kind of thought about turning, make, like making a bunny or something out of this. Like making something, you could make you like a little throw pillow or you could just hang it on your dishwasher or your stove just for that little pop of color in your kitchen. But just like I said, the colors are just so bright and pretty. So I grabbed, I did grab two of these because I'm not quite sure what I want to do with it just yet. But, so I got that. And then I grabbed, <laughs> y'all know I love decorating with some window clings. I grabbed this one right here. Look how cute. And I'm sure you know the reason I bought this one is because all the cute little chicks on it. <laughs> um, so when we decorate our Dollar Tree tier tray that we made together, I'm gonna probably use, which I know, yes, I'm gonna use probably one or two of these little chicks or something. We'll probably do like a little, We'll do like a, we'll probably do like a little picture or something, like a little picture frame with one of these. So that will be really cute and I cannot wait to do something crafty with these. When you go to Dollar Tree, keep an eye out for some cute clings to do some projects with. Okay, now, speaking of that, I wanna show you one thing from Walmart, okay? Just cause I want you to see the difference. Okay, like I said, this of course is Dollar Tree. This one right here though, this is Walmart, okay? Walmart for 98 cents. But look how pretty this one is right here from Walmart. Like I said, this is not Dollar Tree, this one is Walmart. But I just want you to see the options that you could do, because look at those carrots. Love that. Look at these pretty bunnies. They would look so pretty put on like on a vase or like a really big like candle holder or something. Love these. So, like I said, Dollar Tree, but look at the difference. 
This is the Dollar Tree win. This is Walmart, you know, 98 cents. I kind of wish Dollar Tree would kind of, would do a little bit more stuff like this. You know, kind of get away from so much cutesy, which we love, but kind of maybe do a little more like classy looking too. So that would be great, Dollar Tree. <laughs> but okay, back to Dollar Tree. All right, so that was all the Easter stuff. I did grab some new floral scissors because these are great for certain projects because I don't want to use my good crafting scissors when I'm trying to cut something kind of hard or a wire or something really thick. So I got some more floral scissors. Got um, one thing I could find was the gray and I like that. So I just got these right here. They've got the good sharp teeth on them. So I've got one of these. I had to grab some more jumbo glue sticks for my glue gun because mine takes the big ones. It takes these big fat ones right here. See how wide that is compared to the little glue sticks. So I like to get these there. Then, just kind of like thinking ahead for my like summer decor, I found this beautiful little, look at the bees. Look at the bees on there. Look how cute, and that pop of yellow is gonna be for summer. Now, it's a little wax warmer. You could put your little tea light candle back here and like a little wax, you know, a little wax melt up here and just make your house smell good. You could put some fairy lights in here just to make it glow because of the, all these little holes right here, it would glow. But I just thought this would be so cute when I decorate for the summer and do like bees and my lemons that I love to do. And I do strawberries. But seeing this right now, because you know as it gets closer to summer, people think about this kind of stuff and it'll disappear. So if you see things like this now and you want to do projects like that for the summer, go ahead and grab it if you can. Like I said, just look at the cute little bees on there. I am thinking about making a succulent wreath for Presley. <laughs> Presley, you know, who's my 16 year old daughter, has become like the crazy plant lady. Loves succulents and all that. So I got, so I bought this 12 inch bamboo wreath from Dollar Tree. It's a little wonky, like it's not like a complete circle, but that's okay. But I grabbed this right here. Like I said, it's 12 inches. And I grabbed, I have a couple different ideas. I grabbed these little, it's called seed starter pots. You see that it's like a cardboard. You see like the detail to it? They're very lightweight. So I can very easily kind of paint these up, distress it a little bit, kind of like maybe like um, dry wash, like some white on here. Um, and maybe attach these onto this with some floral wire, put succulents and all that in here. And I could do this, that way it's lightweight. Or, I bought the little terracotta pots. You get three, and these are the little ones. I could attach these onto here and fill it full of like succulents. So I'm not sure which one I wanna do, but this obviously is gonna make it a lot heavier. So I grabbed the little ones, and then also grabbed the bigger ones. The bigger ones, you only get two, and the smaller ones, you get three. Now, if you grab these, make sure you check them because most of them were broken, like cracked. So just before you, you know, take them home, just kind of check them out in the store, make sure there's not big cracks in them. Like this one has like a little chip right here on the top, but that's okay because, you know, it kind of gives a little character to it. <laughs> so, so I got these. And then to kind of go along with this in the wreath, I grabbed some of this Spanish moss just to kind of like do a little fill in, maybe stuff it down in the pots, and then you'll have your succulents. So, <laughs> if you're interested in seeing me, maybe, hopefully this is gonna turn out right, a succulent wreath for Presley, let me know. Give thumbs up, say in the comments, whatever. Just let me know if you'd be interested in a video about this. If not, I'll just kind of just do it myself. But if you wanna see it, let me know. I also grabbed some reindeer moss. So I love the reindeer moss. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that with the wreath. I really don't, I know what I wanna do. I just haven't like nailed down everything that I wanna do. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, so I grab reindeer moss too. So we'll kinda see what happens. That. I grabbed some of the 40 count 
This is 0.55 inch diameters, 1.4 centimeters. Um, just the pearls. So grab some pearls. I don't know. Hmm. I, th <laughs> I thought these had a little hose in them. Like you like strain it like, like a pearl necklace or something. But it doesn't. These are solid. So I may have to hot glue these versus like putting a wire through it. But I have an idea for these pearls. So I just grabbed a package of these. Like I said, you get 40 in here. So got those. And then guess what's back at Dollar Tree? The lemons. <laughs> Y'all, these sell out really fast. So next time you go to Dollar Tree, make sure you check out and look for the lemons. Um, they are at my store. They're back, you know, where like all the picture frames and like home decor is. So I don't know what your stores. They may be up front. I don't know. But make sure you always look back like where the picture frames, like home decor. But I did I grab two of these because I'm gonna make a lemon wreath, maybe like a lemon candle holder. Um, I love to decorate with lemons. So like I said, I just grabbed two packages. They also have limes. So if by chance you cannot find the lemons, like one store had all limes, no lemons, you can always get the limes and paint them because you get three for a dollar and then go to like Walmart and get you some 50 cent apple barrel yellow paint and paint them yourself. So like I said, if you can't find the lemons, but they have limes, grab them. <laughs> because you're not always guaranteed that you're gonna find the lemons. So, love these, and I love how realistic they look. Let me show you. Look at that. I got the, <laughs> I've got all the windows open and stuff, so it's kinda like bright. But, can you see? I love how, I love the coloring, I should say. There you go. I love the coloring of these lemons. So. All right, got those. All right, and I was amazed that I found, hold on, they're stuck together. Look at this planter. They are seriously bigger than my head. They're so big for a dollar. My goodness, love it. Um, just take your screwdriver. You can pop out the hose. That way your plants can like drain really well. Look how big these are. You can start you a tomato plant. If you wanted like a tomatoes or something, perfect starter. Love these. Um, I don't know. I really like the color. They also had kind of like a terracotta color, but I'm either going to keep it. Oh, I shed so bad. <laughs> There's always hair. Okay. So, you can either keep it this color or I'm going to maybe spray paint mine black and then just fill it with beautiful flowers for the spring and summer. But I, I was so shocked at how big these are because I see people, you know, they found them in their stores. You know, but seriously, I cannot like express to you enough how big this is. And it's just amazing that it's a dollar. So definitely when you go to Dollar Tree, be on the lookout. And you can't really miss these big things, but be on the lookout for these big planers. And if they only have the other color and you don't like that color, paint it. You know, they make outdoor spray paint, a couple dollars. But if you can get this big thing for a dollar, it's worth it. Okay. That. They have more of those big, pop-up totes, right? Is that what it's called? Storage bin. Okay, they have this dark color, and they also have the light color, and I already opened the light one. It's a very light, kind of a pale gray. Once again, the, the sun's kind of coming right in here. It's like a very pale gray. And look how big these are. These are just like the black and white window pane ones. Remember, they had the black with the white, and they had white with the black. If you couldn't find those, they have these now. Like I said, they have this light gray and they have this darker gray. Yeah, or they have this dark gray color. But these, I mean, these are so good. Yeah, did you see? Okay, here's the darker one. And then here's the lighter one. And with Easter coming up, this would be awesome for like like a teenager, or if you have like kids in their 20s or 30s and you do their Easter baskets, <laughs> you 
you know, fill this up. This is so perfect, you know, and it's a basket that they can take home and keep. Um, it's about to be spring. You know, people, they start to move when it gets warmer and, you know, people get married. You could very easily fill this up with a bunch of cute little housewarming stuff. Um, yeah. Like my niece, um, she's in college. She just turned 21. She, her and her little, her best friend, they got an apartment together. So it's like, I could fill this up with all kinds of cute little stuff for their apartment for a few dollars, you know? It doesn't have to be expensive. You know, you can make this so cute as an Easter basket, or like I said, a, you know, a housewarming gift or a bridal shower gift for someone. Look at that. Cute. You could fill it up with, um, get some of those lemons. You could put some fake flowers in here and Dollar Tree has new vases out. You know, you could do something like that. You could use one of these big flower pots as an Easter basket. You know, you have someone, Mother's Day's coming up. Okay, so for Mother's Day, you could get this. Put some like the gardening, like they have the little shovels and they've got the little knee cushion. They have awesome um, gloves. All that stuff you could put in here as someone's Easter basket or as a Mother's Day gift coming up. Because like I said, you get this stuff when you see it. <laughs> Don't wait until the holiday. Get it when you see it and think ahead. Oh. Okay, enough rambling. <laughs> But one other thing that I found that would be perfect if you did something like that, they have new soap dispensers. Look at this ceramic soap dispenser. It's got the silver, silver. <laughs> I can't talk. Silver, it is the silver dispenser. So they had solid white. They had the white and the black, which of course I chose. And they had white. And I think it was gray, but I love this one because this will go in perfect in our bathroom. So love this. You know that you can always buy your soap refill at Dollar Tree or just when you go to the grocery and it's constantly refill this. You know, if you have a Cricut or some stickers or a good penmanship, you can always put like wash your hands or put, you know, put like wash or soap if you want like a Ray Dunn kind of look. But I think this is beautiful and very classic. You know, look. Look how great this is right here for your bathroom. And what a wonderful gift, like a little gift set, this would be for someone. You know, Easter baskets don't always have to be candy. It can be something like this. <laughs> okay, enough of that stuff. Then I found Echo Smart Seed Feed. Look at that. It's a bird feeder. And it says you take a plastic bottle, you know, just a water bottle or maybe even a two liter. I'm not quite sure. It says use any size soda bottle. Bottle. <laughs> use any size soda bottle. So if you're out one day and you grab your little 20 ounce drink, just keep it, you know, rinse it out. And it attaches onto this. You put the bird feed inside your bottle and then it twists onto here. And I guess it goes down in there. I don't know. <laughs> I have to read the instructions. I'm sitting here telling you and I'm clueless. I don't know. But yeah, and it has all the instructions on the back. It tells you exactly what to do. So you can just get you some bird food. And look how cute. They had green, they had orange, so and a blue. I think they had blue. I just grabbed the green one. And I grabbed this bird food. Now I don't know if this goes inside of here. I don't know if this is the right kind of food because this feels very Oh, this feels very solid. It's that. So this says feeding directions. It says remove wrapper and insert cake into feeder. Store in a cool, dry place. Not for human consumption. <laughs> really? <laughs> but, you know, it attracts wild birds. And we love having like cardinal birds and stuff around our home. So I thought this would fit in here, but I'm not really sure. But either way, I mean, you can get stuff like this at Dollar Tree. And that's awesome. This also, like I said, if you have someone that loves outdoors and like birds and gardening, you get something like this for their Easter basket or like I said, Mother's Day coming up. So something nice like this. And then for our little Bailey, which is our little dog, I have found an adorable little squirrel. <laughs> Look at the squirrel. Look at that little tail. It does squeak. She loves squeaking toys. 
and she loves like stuffed animals that squeak. Like she doesn't like the really hard toys. She likes stuff like this. Um, she goes nuts when she sees a squirrel outside. So if I'm filming and there's a squirrel, <laughs> I have to pause because she won't quit. But I just thought it was adorable. They also had like kind of like a brown beige one. But I just thought this little gray squirrel would be so cute. And this is going to go in her Easter basket. And yes, I make an Easter basket for a little dog. But that is so cute. And then I also found it's a retractable leash accessory bag. Look at that. It's for the leash. Like, so we have the kind of the plastic leash that like it can go in and out. It gets really long. I think it's like 16 feet long. But it holds, it's got a little zipper. So if we're going for like a long walk and like I want to lock up the house, I can put my house keys in here. Um, you can put your little, you know, pick up little bags. You can put anything, you know. If you want to stick some money in here, like say you're going to the park or whatever, your license. But look how cute. And this will also go in her Easter basket, which she could care less about this. But I just figured all this will be cute in her Easter basket. Oh, and the store that I went to, it only had medium large. I don't know if they're small or extra large, but it was just medium large. Okay, I just have a couple more things. And that is, look at this really cute scrunchie. Love this for spring and summer. It's got like the long little tail. It's got the little flowers on there. It's got the blues and the greens, like some cream, the little pink, but I love this. This is so cute. Like I want Presley to kind of do this stuff. She likes to pull her hair back a little bit and kind of put something like that. And then you have, look, look how cute that would be right there. Um, I seriously need to color my gray, so ignore, <laughs> ignore all this gray hair. But yeah, just to kind of pull your hair back and then have these tails, um, put a bun or something in your hair, ponytail. But these are really cute and they had a couple different patterns and colors but I just thought this one was like perfect for spring. Okay, and then I also just grabbed um, a thing of the goodie ponytail holders. I love having ponytail holders because I get <laughs> all this hair after a while just gets on my nerves. So my hair by the end of the day is either up in a bun or in a ponytail. So um, you get 10 of them in here. This is the medium for medium hair. It's a solid one. So it's just these, there's no metal on here or anything. It's just, there's no metal on here, so you don't have to worry about that. So I just got these, and and it's the Goody brand, so name brand. These would be great. This right here too. These would both be great. Like she makes the whole thing shake. So these right here too would be great in an Easter basket. If you've got like a young girl or a teenager or something that you buy for, or even me, <laughs> I'm in my forties and I like this kind of stuff. But, you know, this would be really cute as an Easter basket stuffer too. Then I also grabbed another nail polish. This is, oh, there's no number. Okay, so this is LA Colors and it's called Lucky in Love. It's one of their new colors they have out. Look how pretty, it looks almost like a mauve -y color. So, so like I did last time, I'm gonna paint one of my nails to show you what this looks like. Okay, so this is a very pretty, subtle color. Look at that right there. Can you, okay, can you tell? Look, okay, so like I said, this is called Lucky in Love. The name is on the side right here. Um, LA Colors, but look how pretty that is right there. Like I said, very subtle, and it's kind of like a, it reminds me of like a, like a mauve or something. So I love that. That is very, very pretty. I highly recommend this color right here. All right, so got that. And then just the last thing that I bought, <laughs> it is this, it's a four pack of, it's just as bowls. It just as bowls on here, a little four pack. But my thought for this, and like they're glass, I'm gonna open this up. So I can tell you my thoughts. So, like I said, there's four of these. And if you love like tear trays, if you love like the whole Ray Dunn look, how cute would this be to spray paint this white? Or like for Easter, you could do like pastel colors. You could do one pink and one like a lavender. And then you could stack them like this. And when we decorate our tear trays, 
we could do something like this. You could put you like some carrots in, or yeah, <laughs> you could put some carrots in here, but I was thinking you could do like some Easter eggs in here. Um, you could have a cute little bunny rabbit like coming out of here, but these would be so cute and they're great clear, but I really think if we painted these, it would make them pop and then stick them, like I said, just kind of like do something like that. And then you could stack a few different ones. If you have like some really cute little um, like measuring spoons kind of stick in here. But these to me are very, I hate saying the word trendy, but <laughs> you know, right done. Just all these little like measuring cups, measuring bowls and stuff are very popular. So like I said, for a dollar, you get four of them. And you could paint these whatever color you want to decorate like a tear tray. So that's one of my thoughts. Okay, but that's it. <laughs> like I said, so many amazing new finds once again at Dollar Tree and so many Easter and Mother's Day gift ideas. Yeah, and like housewarming gift ideas. Like I said, there's gonna be, you know, bridal showers coming up that you're gonna have. This kind of stuff, you know, it'd be so cute just to make a basket full of something like this, you know? Very inexpensive, and it, but it looks really nice, thought out, and kind of in high end, you know. So, so I love once again, I love everything. <laughs> Y'all know I get excited, and I love everything that I buy. That's why I buy it because I love it. But all right, it is Friday. I hope that once again you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Relax, take time for yourself, enjoy your family, your friends, and then we are going to start. Um, so all my little crafting buddies, we are going to start some Easter and spring DIYs. We're going to do some crafts. We're going to do some decorating. Uh, like I said, I got my St. Patrick's Day stuff right here that we just did together. Um, but yeah, so I hope that you have a wonderful weekend and an amazing day. And I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.